from hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. Thanks for joining me for the final beer of the Brewdog um, Prototype Challenge 2012. This is a bottle of Coco Psycho, a 10% Imperial Stout. I'll give you the details of the website. It says, um, this opulent world of chocolate, coffee, dark malts and hops uh, even rival the most colourful of Imperial Fabergé eggs. <laughs> Originally created to celebrate the Russian uh, royal family, this is a fitting tribute to which to toast your own empire. Apparently, it's a ten percent decadent and indulgent imperial stout brewed with copious amounts of dark dark malts, infused with uh, coffee beans during the boil and after fermentation, and aged on cacao nibs, vanilla pods, and toasted oat chips. That sounds incredible. It's hopped with Cascade Fuggles and Goldens. I mean, a really good, solid kind of like backbone to an Imperial Stout. Bit of EKG and Goldings. Oh, sorry, Fuggles and EKG. Oh, pouring beautifully as well. <laughs> good start. This is the only one I hadn't had before out of the, the beers from this range. And I had the other two on draft in the past. So the beer in the glass, I mean, it is pretty much black as night. Um, the head, really, really, really dark. Probably the darkest head of, I've ever seen on a beer. And I think the head, uh, the camera really does it justice how dark that head is. It's quite a fizzy head, though. It's what it's all about. I'm trying not to sniff it because I'm getting whiffs of it already. So let's dig, as, uh, dig my nose in there and see what's going on. Oh my goodness, that's nice. <laughs> Initially, kind of, uh, kind of tayberries, uh, blackberries, a kind of like sharpness of kind of those type of berries. Licorice to a point, loads of coffee, lots of really dark kind of roasted malt. Oh, a certain kind of lactic note at the back end. I guess that's the vanilla. Being that kind of sweet vanilla quality in there. Coffee, chocolate, a bit of alcohol actually. Fresh apples. Coconut. That smells like a lovely imperial stout. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. really good. It's a funny old situation with Brewdog. If you look at their kind of uh, their permanent kind of portfolio of beers, Punk IPA, Hardcore IPA, 5am Saint, um, Tactical Nuclear Penguin, um, Sink the Bismarck, all that kind of jazz. Of, um, a, a, a lager of some description at some point, a porter of some description at some point, um, something like Trashy Blonde, it kind of comes in and out, but I mean, the core beers, I mean, their, their business model is definitely based on what Stone have done in the US, but they've never had an Imperial Stout, I guess the closest thing they ever had was Tokyo, and that's 18% and it's going a bit far, so bringing it back, pulling it back and getting that, in, uh, that in Imperial Stout at around 10, 11, 12%, I think all Top quality breweries need that beer. And I think this is it for Brewdog. It's a cracker. I used to always be a big fan of Riptide. I mean, that were about 8%. Cask version kind of came down to about 4, and four 5, 6. I, don't, I can't remember now. But became a shadow of its form itself. But this is lovely. Lovely full mouthfeel. Oh, big chocolate. Subtle kind of like... Chad coffee. That that vanilla's softening it out. It's not too sweet. You don't bring too much sweetness. It brings a nice amount of sweetness, which balances it out. But every time you come back to it, that mouthfeel, oh, it just, oh, it just lifts you. It's lovely. Black currants, blueberries. Coffee bitterness now, nice, nice now, kind of maybe hoppy bitterness, but probably dark malt bitterness. 
coming in kind of coffee, like a, a really arid, bitter coffee. Oh, it's a chewy old boy. Burnt wood bark, mildly smoky, uh, ruinously drinkable. The aftertaste, slightly sticky, coffee, chocolate, and the vanilla right on the end is really nice. Finish with the vanilla. Look at that! I love that when you've got a stout, it dribbles down and stains it. It's like a coffee stain on a on a crisp white cotton tablecloth. <laughs> I think we found our winner out of the three. And as I was saying at the start of this video. Brewdog, they've got it all, all the rest covered. I mean, 5 a.m. sets cracking beer. Um, um, Hardcore's a really solid double IPA. Punk's a really nice beer when it's on form. Dead Pony Club, cracking low ABV beer. 77 Lager, all, all knows with guns at cracking um, lager. Missing piece of the puzzle. I mean, fuck all the stupid strong ABV beers. I mean, I can, I bought, I've got a bottle of Tokyo, I've never drunk it, I've had a taste of somebody else's. It's a nice beer, but it's a bit silly and it's a bit gimmicky. And all the, all the kind of like stupidly strong beers. It doesn't mean anything to anybody apart from people who are looking in from the outside. But for us, for the beer drinkers, for the people who really enjoy Brewdog beers, a lot of the people who uh, kind of go to their bars, Probably a lot of the people who have, um, I haven't, but a lot of the people who have signed up to be shareholders, this is the kind of beer that they're after. They're wanting those proper beers. They're the people who lo love beers, breweries like Magic Rock and Summer Wine and Red Willow and Colonel in the UK and in America, Stone and, oh, bloody hell, where do you start in America? But obviously Stone is such a massive influence on Brewdog. This is a beer that should have been in their range a long time ago. It's really good. It's probably the best Imperial Stout they've done. Better than Riptide. Better than the, they did a collab, I think, with Guy from Stone once upon a time. I mean, even all, all the ones they've done in the, uh, the abstract range. This is the Imperial Stout that Brewdog should have brewed all that time ago. It's really, really, really well done. I cannot fault them one little bit. It's an absolute success. So, if this doesn't win that competition, I'm not going to be happy. This is... The winner of Brewdog's Prototype Challenge 2012 in my book. If it isn't in your book, you're a fucking mug, okay? Alright? <laughs> so that is a bottle of Coco Psycho. 10% ABV. 10% on the bun. Can I show a bit of respect for that? 10% ABV from Brewdog in Aberdeen, I think the brewery is now. Closer to the brewery, um, I'm probably not quite in the middle of nowhere. I'm really excited to see what Punk's going to be like from the from the new brewery. I'm, I mean, Punk's disappeared off the face of the earth. That's a cracking beer. I'm waffling now. I'm quite excited because this is a cracking Imperial now. Make this part of your range, okay? I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. I'm enjoying this beer. And I hope you get the chance to enjoy it too. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.